Well, in case you hadn't heard, the countdown is on for the total solar eclipse. What are you doing? Are you cheating Getting already? Excited. <laughs> it doesn't happen until Monday. Yeah, so we got to be ready. Okay. Uh, right. You don't mind, do you? <laughs> uh, if you plan to watch this rare celestial event, you'll need to know how to protect your eyes. Here with expert advice is Dr. James Kelly, a renowned ophthalmologist and refraction surgeon specialist. What does that mean? It means I correct people's eyes so they see better. Oh, I think mm. I need you. There you go. He's the founder of the Kelly Vision uh, Center here in New York City. Okay, can we sneak a peek at this thing on Monday? Definitely, if you protect your eyes the right way. So here's the thing. These solar eclipses, they're really exciting. They're really fun. They're rare, but they can be dangerous to the eyes. And so my goal as an eye surgeon, my, my priority is to protect people's vision. And what happens is that people get excited about these solar eclipses, naturally so. Right. And they wind up staring at them and they cause damage to their eyes. And they come into the office with all of these problems. Like what? What kind of problems? Would you know if you damaged your eye immediately? No, here's the thing is there's no pain when it happens. And sometimes the symptoms don't appear for hours or days after. Oh. Mm. So, so. Well, you say people stare at them. Obviously, that happens. But can, do you have to stare, or can it be like a quick glimpse and you can damage right. your eyes? Well, even if just a fraction of the sun's rays are visible, just staring at it for a few seconds can cause damage. So it doesn't take long? No, it doesn't take long at all. And, and we're, we have this obsession with looking at the sun during mm -hmm. the clip, so right. we don't realize how much time we're actually looking at the sun. So what would be a sign that you've got eye damage if you... Don't follow your advice and look at the sun. So people come into the office, they complain of black spots, blind spots. They tell me they have holes in their vision, oh, distorted color vision, and they say things look bleached out. So it can be really serious, and it often is permanent damage. So it never comes back, right? You... And, and Roseanne, in about half the cases, over several months, the vision returns, but in the other half, it's permanent and irreversible. So th there's no treatment. There's only prevention. All right, Dr. Kelly, let's talk about prevention because mm -hmm. thank you so much for these beautiful, expensive <laughs> sunglasses. <Yes>. Latest and <laughs> There we go. So how do we just put them on and we can stare as long as we want? So if you wear contacts or regular eyeglasses, you put these over them. If not, you just put them over your eyes. And with these on, these are 1,000 times darker than regular sunglasses. So I implore your viewers, I implore my patients, don't look at the eclipse with regular sunglasses. They're okay. not dark enough. Mm -hmm. Use these. They're a thousand times darker. So obviously, <laughs> the sun, I would think, is big enough to see even without your regular glasses. Would that be a problem? Because, you know, your glasses are bigger than this circle. Mm. Should you take your glasses off? No. No. Keep your glasses on. Put these over your glasses. Okay, no matter what? No matter what. Okay. All right. All right. Well, you it don't look like the coolest person you. in the world. Oh, I do. Yeah, yeah. you cool. look like you could be like um, from Devo. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so whip it, whip it good. Uh, but this is important, obviously. It, it, it has a look, and everybody will have it on social media. But it's obviously important to save your eyes. I don't know where I'm looking right now. Uh, so. Right, it's they're really dark. Yes, they really are. So, so Dr. Kelly, I do remember the last time in 2017. Mm -hmm. It was quite an event. Uh, uh, an event even for jaded New Yorkers. Mm -hmm. People were all over the streets and, and they had these sunglasses. I don't remember if I had mine or not with me, but I swear I took a peek. Well, if you look, you know, we're not going to be in the New York City area. We're not going to be in the path of totality. If we were, but we're going to see something, we're see right? Something. We'll see a partial eclipse here, about a 75% eclipse. So it's still, I mean, if you take a quick look for a second or two, no big deal, but not longer than that. And you'd be surprised because it's such a cool thing to see. Mm -hmm. You may look at it longer than you think. So just put on your glasses, Rosanna. So I know. and you can get these, obviously, at your clinic, but pretty much everywhere. If you want to protect your eyes. You can find them. Yeah, they're inexpensive. They're readily available. You look for the ISO designation, the yeah, certification. Well, oh, so, so how do you ISO. know that they're real and you know not just some knockoff? So there's so there's a lot of counterfeits out there, mm -hmm. like with anything else. So you look for this ISO certification, and it lets you know that See it's that. met a minimum standard. Uh, yes. And and what you do before you put them on, you inspect them, make sure there are no scratches, make sure they're not damaged. And really important, if you have children with you that are going to be watching the eclipse, children tend to be careless. So make sure if they're watching the eclipse with you that they wear their glasses properly the entire time. Okay, Dr. Kelly, how can people find you? 
So you go to my website, kellylaser.com, and uh, leave questions there, and I'm happy to answer them. And before we scare the bejesus out of everybody, just put these on, and you can look. Right. And you look it. all you want. That's it. Simple yeah. as this. All right.